this being a Mandela Children's Fund Canada and Cap Aids Hip Hop for Africa benefit, we thought it would be appropriate to read a passage from a hip hop artist to someone in Africa. More specifically, something from the best selling rap musician of all time to the most beloved South African leader of all time. So here we have Just a Breath of Freedom for Nelson Mandela from Tupac Amaru Shakur. Held captive for your politics, they wanted to break your soul. They ordered the extermination of all minds they couldn't control. For you the fate was far worse than just a brutal homicide. They caged you like an animal and watched you slowly die inside. As you breathe your first air of freedom, on the day you become a free man, raise your regal brow in pride. For now you are in God's hands. Just a breath of freedom for Nelson Mandela from Tupac Amaru Shakur. Give, give it up for him. We're, we're, we're just the vessel, that's all. This uh, Hip Hop for Africa benefit, in addition to ushering the start of Black History Month 2006, it actually falls exactly one week before the 16 year anniversary of Mandela's release from freedom, or release from prison. So uh, along those same lines, we have a passage from his new Prisoner in the Garden photo book. And although I will quote Mandela within the context of the article, later in the night you're actually going to hear Nelson Mandela in his own words, a message that was originally recorded in Toronto. I don't think you're ever going to forget it. One Man's Memory, Nelson Mandela previews the Prisoner in the Garden exhibition. It's the 13th of August, 2004, and the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory Project team is finalizing preparations for the launch of the Prisoner Working in the Garden exhibition. An audience with Nelson Mandela has been arranged to brief him and to share some of the materials to be put on display. In addition, his photographer Matthew Willem, whose photo essay on Robben Island is to be an important element of the exhibition. Mandela listens attentively to the explanation offered by the project manager. As Willem gets in close, Mandela's personal assistant, Zelda, notices a loose hair on his shoulder and leans forward to brush it off. He smiles. They just fall out, you know. There's nothing you can do about it. When the documents and photographs are presented to him, he examines each one in turn, first silently, then in a flow of reminiscence. His curiosity is palpable and the stories abound. He pauses longest over the collection of images from the 1977 visit to Robben Island by a select group of journalists. I remember that day, he says. The authorities brought these people to prove that we were still alive. When preparing his autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom, 10 years earlier, Mandela had forgotten about this media visit. A note of anger creeps into his voice as he denounces one of the individuals on the visit. Zelda admonishes him, Kulu, which means great one, you know you can't talk like that. No, he responds, we must be honest about these things. Mandela holds the portrait of himself, also taken on the 1977 visit for several minutes. The project manager alerts him to the prison service caption on the reverse side, which states in Afrikaans, a prisoner working in the garden. Mandela interrupts, you should have let me read it. I could have shown off that I can speak proper Afrikaans. Finally, a 2004 birthday gift from former fellow prisoner Mac Maharaj is presented to him. It is a framed copy of the National Geographic photograph his fellow prisoners had given Mandela as a birthday gift on Robben Island 40 years before. He chuckles as he views the image of an exuberant young African woman running naked on a beach. Ah yes, I remember this well, Mandela says. The audience is over. As a project manager packs away the materials, Mandela holds on to the National Geographic photograph. Can I keep it, he says.